Codename 1 3.7 is one of our most amazing releases to date. Here are five amazing things about it. First is the new GUI Builder Auto Layout Mode, the feature I'm probably most excited about. To use it, we just create a new GUI Builder file type and leave Auto Layout checked. We then launch the new GUI Builder from the right-click menu. This instantly looks different, but let's jump right in. First, I'm dragging in a label. Notice these four guides. They represent the insets for positioning components. I'll explain their usage by example. I want this label to be centered on the top as an icon. I can drag it to the center and you will notice the guide moving from the left to the right, indicating the amount of millimeter or percentage from the side of the form. However, there is a better trick. Elements default to centering, so by removing both guides, the component will implicitly center. I can remove the guide by clicking the lock icon. And now it's completely centered and aligned to the top with the inset on top only. Notice that the other insets are defined as auto for preferred size. A long click allows me to edit the text and clear it. I then pick the icon from the properties and set the icon image to an image I added to the resource file. Let's do that again and show some additional abilities. Here I dragged a label into the left side. If I click the top lock, the label will be centered vertically too. It's not something I need. I just wanted to show it works vertically too. When I drag the label up, the smart insets kick in and automatically connect the label's top inset to the icon label I placed before. That means the label will be positioned relatively to the icon. Now I drag a text field next to the label. It sometimes takes some wiggling to find the right location so everything fits. But I want to show you a neat trick to configure this positioning. We can drag the chain icon to any other component or edge to force binding to that component and then configure the insets by typing them in. This is really convenient as you can get perfectly accurate layouts that use pixels, millimeters, or percentage to position components in place relatively to anything else you want. Notice also the widget on the bottom right, which allows you to shift components and remap insets. And finally, I can resize the text field so it has the right width and stretch all the way to the edge of the form. But how will this look in different resolutions. We can resize the UI right within the designer and see how everything fits for every resolution and adapt our insets accordingly. Lifestyles is a pet feature of mine. It makes the small day-to-day -day tuning of an app far more bearable. It allows us to ID. components. So what I've added here is the ability to edit the style values. a specific this UI case, ID. I'm just pasting in a blue As you can see, I can change the, uh, the background this color. Okay in the, dialogue. the cool thing is selected press, disabled anything I can and they are change same. pretty much anything so I want here. And when I press OK, the full designer you'll notice it. The new Codename One Academy isn't so much a feature, but it's something we've worked on a lot for 3.7. It's the feature that has me most anxious as I've spent so much time working on it. In the academy, we have three courses of increasing level of complexity. One of the big things we'll do is provide new update modules for the course every month for two years and this will include eight complete new apps that you get to vote on. So you can pick the app and I will teach you how to build it 
starting with an Uber clone focusing on the map-based interface. This brings me to the next feature, which is Z ordering. You might recall it from 3.6 as well. Now it's available for all OSs in a portable way. Pair component Z ordering means we can place codename one components on top of a native OS components. In this case, we see the map demo. Notice the buttons on the bottom left. Notice they are translucent. They are codename one buttons and they hover on top of the map and are still functional. This allows apps like Uber, but also everything that works with media overlays, camera views, etc. It opens up Codename 1 to completely new use cases and is damn revolutionary. Properties is a pet feature of mine, and I believe it's the stealth bomber that will blow all of these other features away. With properties, we can define a class like this which replaces getters and setters with property objects to represent their data. That's nice, but it doesn't seem to live up to the hype I laid on pretty thick before. Until you start digging deeper, we can create this user interface with that object and these five lines of code. Instead of designing your UI in the GUI builder, why not have a perfect UI that's created for you automatically from the model? What makes this amazing is that properties can instantly save themselves into SQL with ORM and can map parsed JSON XML automatically, making the whole process of building a complex data-driven app into a process of defining data structures. I'm super excited about 3.7 and I hope you caught some of that too. Let us know what you think and help us spread the word. Thank you.